food is the common denominator and it's the glue that binds us. I'm Melba Wilson, born, bred, and buttered in the village of Harlem. I'm super duper excited to be here in Wrightsville, North Carolina with my sister friend, Anna from Shell and Fish Company. Mimi, myself, Michael, and Derek, we had to make the trip down. The three of us have decided to collaborate on a restaurant called Melba's Muscles. I know they say cotton comes to Harlem. Well, now muscles come to Harlem. A lot of the you know trends right now is farm to table and being able to provide tie to table is really, really unique. When I go drop off shellfish to restaurants, you see other harvest tags and they're already 10 days old and I'm dropping it in there out of the water 12 hours, 24 hours ago. When you have farmers, fisher women, fisher women <laughs> um, who are doing and taking such care, it's just a transfer of energy. So I, we're also just taking that energy that you're bringing and that love and care. And I'm not doing any different. I'm also just transferring it along to a plate. And then that's going to make somebody really, really happy. So I feel super honored that, you know, we get to work with Anna and that, you know, we are all together to really collide. The synergy, I feel, is really beautiful. The emphasis of this concept is about doing something different, doing something that is um, groundbreaking in the culinary space. And it's fun to watch them come together and just be out here in nature and literally see them taking the concept of, of seafood and mussels and, and tie it to table and really bringing it to into action. I got this tattoo, Sheev, which if you take off the F is she, so that's why it's with an S. So it's, you know, talking about a woman specifically in the industry, which is something I think we really should highlight more. It kind of speaks for itself. You know, when you see a sister with the word she and then an F, tattooed on her arm you know she's a bad sister but not only is her spirit warm inviting and caring the girl could throw down on a plate okay and you know being that she's from Maryland her love of food and nature and the water is uh, it comes through in her food it's a journey but it's also a love story it's a love story of three amazing women from three totally different backgrounds who had a dream you know, my biggest concern, you know, I'm a financial guy, so my biggest concern was, why am I going to North Carolina for a product I can clearly get in New York City? After speaking to Melba and understanding, one, what it meant to get fresh food, two, to know where it was sourced, and three, uh, being a woman-owned business herself, what it means to deal with another woman. So from that standpoint, I said, okay, got it. So there's a story here. So it's more than just a financial situation. It's a story here that can propel this new venture into something else. But the beauty of this story is how we all come together. And it's about supporting women, empowering women, and doing what we love, which is putting an amazing plate of food on the table. An opportunity opened up for me to slide in and work with Melba, which is, I mean, what a privilege and an honor to someone who's been born and raised in Harlem. I sometimes pinch myself at night because I'm like, what did I do that got me this opportunity? Just knowing that they're gonna be in her hands with her great chefs and Chef Mimi and this beautiful concept that they're opening will probably keep me up at night. <laughs> I'm so stoked. So I think that this is gonna be a fantastic, fantastic uh, venture, joint venture between all three of these young ladies, Melba, Chef Mimi and Anna. I mean, uh, I think the story is going to be one that you guys are going to hear for years to come, how these three came together and developed this concept. I got it now. My little muscle. Yay. I think I saw a couple more over here.